and the two different containers are sucrose sugar one's in a plastic cup on the left the other one's in a glass beaker on the right the two outside beakers contain sulfuric acid the sulfuric acid is going to be poured into both containers of sugar sucrose and a chemical reaction is going to take place it takes place in several different kinds of steps and the first sign that a chemical reaction is taking place is the color change you're going to go from that amber and white colors of the two separate chemicals to a darker black color and this takes place over quite a bit of time so let's take a look at it Now the color change is pretty much complete. We have a definite black color to both containers. Now something else is going to happen. The container on the left, the plastic cup, we're going to have some gas production happening. And that gas production is going to be water vapor and sulfur trioxide. The water vapor is going to is that vapor stage because there's a tremendous amount of heat energy produced. That heat is making the water be at a gas phase and so you can see that steam coming out of there um, sulfur trioxide is also being produced is creating a very distinct um, smell between also the the carbon that's being produced that black material is carbon so the carbon atoms in the sucrose molecule is being broken away from it and separating out and so you have that black carbon and that carbon is going to be its solid phase and that's what's kind of growing there so you can see the heat that's being generated by this chemical reaction it's an exothermic reaction is enough to melt the cup it's extremely hot
Now the chemical reaction on the left is pretty much done, but the chemical reaction on the right is just starting. And it's going to be the same type of chemical reaction. The carbon atoms in the sucrose are going to be broken away from the rest of the sucrose molecules and a carbon solid is going to be formed and again sulfur trioxide and water vapor are gases that are going to be produced and be released. Now in this case the carbon is going to be generated as a solid and it looks like it's going to be ri it's going to rise up in the beaker container and it's a pretty stunning chemical reaction and when you show this to students they're, they're really um, taken aback by it. It's really kind of neat and the carbon that's produced has lots of tiny tiny holes in there and that's because the gas is coming th up through that material leaving those holes in there and again the beaker is going to be extremely hot. It's too hot to touch. You need almost oven mitts to touch it. Once the chemical reaction is done, you can show the students what the leftover carbon looks like. And it's going to be solid. It's going to be quite brittle. And so with simple tongs, you can break apart the pieces of the carbon and you can see them. And again, there's lots of air spaces in between them because the gases came up through the material to make those uh, pockets.